Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I'm just going to do a swipe on. Um, let's go over my colors. That'll take a minute. I did a lot of combination of colors here today. My first one is a combination of Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And then I put a little, little dollop of the Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green in with that. So those two paints mixed together. My next color is Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium. And you can see that I did put down this color already on my corners and my edges. My next color is the Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. My next color is a combination of Artist Loft Metallic Blue, and then I just added a little dollop of the metallic Artist Loft Metallic Black to that just to darken it up a little bit. And the next color is Blickrick Metallic Copper. And to that, I added a little bit of the Folk Art um, Copper because I wanted just to get it a little bit more shiny than it was. And my next color is the Delta Ceramic Coat 14 Karat Gold. And to my gold and copper in Van Dyke Brown, I did get out my Jewelescent Mica Powders, and I added the Vegas Gold, the Coffee Brown, and the Copper Penny. And that will all be in the description. My pouring medium today is 70% 70 70 Elmer's Glue All, 30% water. I did add one drop of the Montmartre silicone in the Van Dyke Brown, in the, uh, the metallic blue, and in the green color. So let's go over consistency. This is probably a good one to show you. The 70% Elmer's Glue All, 30% water, and about one part um, paint to one part glue mixture. And I did have to thin it a little bit with some more water. So let's get started um, laying down the paints. I think I will start with the green. Just going to do a swipe here today. And we will get cells because the, the Montmartre silicone has been so reactive whenever I've used it. That's why I only added one drop. I think I'm going to swipe with the, um, the Van Dyke Brown. You know, maybe I'll swipe with the gold. Swipe with the gold. And I will put the Van Dyke Brown next. I will add some gold onto the painting also. Let's go with this blue color. It turned out so very pretty with the, the black added to it. Just a real rich, darker blue. And let's go with the unbleached titanium. I just wanted my edges and my uh, corners covered here today. Make it more of a clean look, hopefully. And 
and I will add some of the gold now. And then I'm just going to repeat those colors again. I hope that all of you that are quarantined are keeping busy enough. Hopefully you're getting to watch some of these art videos, catch up on some of them. I know a lot of the artists right now are doing some pouring. So if you get a chance and you enjoy that, you should do that. Some really nice paintings right now being made. A lot of really good ideas out there. Okay, a lot of really good artists. Oh, and my copper. Just about forgot the copper here. I think I'll scoot that copper in here. And then maybe in here. I will be tipping this to hopefully cover the whole canvas when I'm done here laying the paints down. I really do like this Van Dyke Brown. It's got a very rich color to it. And See what, how much of this green I have left. Let's put some of that here and there, just, just to use it up. And we can go with the unbleached. Well, there's unbleached on the bottom. So let's go with this, the dark blue again. And the copper. Put some more copper down here. And I will just finish with this unbleached titanium here just to fill it in. And I think that worked out very well. Okay, and now I'm just going to do a little bit of tipping. See if I can cover the whole painting here.
and I am going to tip it down this way. Okay. That's looking pretty already. Now I'll take my gold and I will run it across here. It's my swipe color. Clean this, clean these paints up here a little bit. And I think today I'm going to swipe with paper towels that are dampened. Let's get started on that. lay it in there and drag it over. And I will do that again. And one more time. And now I'm going to turn it this way. This was a used canvas, by the way. There was a painting underneath that I really didn't care for, so I did scrape it. Thought I'd have a go with a swipe on it now. Okay. Swipe this way. can use your paper towel just to dab on the edge of your painting also to add your color. Okay, we'll do that again. Swipes are a lot of fun. There's a lot of shininess in this painting. Okay, the last swipe here. Okay, before I torch, I am going to just tip a little bit. Just to move the paint, because I'm one that I don't have to have a, a perfect line in the middle. I've 
kind of like it when it runs into each other like this. Just bringing it back down now. Okay. And I think I will torch. See what comes up. Very pretty colors coming up. You'll notice me going in and out with my torch. You ever get a chance to watch Jilly Cube? Jilly Cube is the one that I learned this technique from. And it just gives you little, like little colonies of cells. You want to be careful not to burn your canvas. It's like little groupings of cells. It's Jilly with a G. Cube is K-U-B-E. Jilly does a lot of swipes. And now I'll just do a general torch here. See what comes out. Let it sit there a minute. And I think I will clean off the bottom while I wait. So cute. These little cell colonies coming up. And I will finish the edges off camera. It's a good color combination here. Very easy on the eyes. And I think what I'm going to do is, a lot of times you've seen me do this, I'm just going to take my skewer and I'm going to just run it right down here a little bit, just here and there. Just making a few lines here. One more torch, and we'll get you down for a close-up. I think I will turn it this way. Just do a little bit of a tip. Come back. Right, bring me down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Again, this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I did a swipe on 
And my pouring medium today was a little bit different. It was using the 70% Elmer's glue all, 30% water. And I did use silicone, which lately I haven't been using. But here is the upper left-hand corner. Hopefully you can see some of the shine coming through. Those are really cute cells there. The blue with the green around. You can see the shine of that gold. Some very different cells. Very pretty. And I'll bring you up the middle here. Here's some copper that came through. Very nice. Lots of cells going on there. They're those bigger little colonies. That's what came about after I torched the way I did. Upper right hand corner. Those are cute cells in there. More copper. In the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be really be appreciated. And until next time, Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. It's Deb again. I waited a while until um, the painting was a little bit dried, about 15, 20 minutes. And what I did is I did balloon kisses on it. And I'm just so much more happy with the way this turned out. I just felt like the middle where the, the gold was. My gold swipe color was way too plain. And as you can see, I just took the balloon, a small balloon with water in it, and I just did these balloon kisses and it turned out, it turned out great. And I'll take you all the way down. Some areas I left alone because the cells were so nice. This is the lower right hand corner. Turned out really pretty in here. Here's the copper. I left some of the cells there. And moving over to the uh, lower left hand corner here. And just take you up here to the top and over. So here's the complete painting. I just think it turned out really good. Let me know what you think. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.